Update, I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, yesterday, everyone in New York pretended it was exactly what it feels like to be on cocaine. You know, like at the beginning, you've got a lot of energy. But then, by the end, you're fading fast. Unfortunately for Halloween. Iowa's final four game against UConn was the most watched women's college basketball game ever, with 14.2 million viewers, beating the previous record by four... <laughs> a, uni <laughs> a United Airlines flight from Germany was forced to return to the airport after the toilet broke and leaked into the cabin. Though it's the perfect punishment for people who take introduce a bill to rename Washington, D.C.'s Dulles Airport after Donald Trump. Because airports are a lot like Trump. A chaotic nightmare that turns you against your own family. <laughs> you thought that was called Ash Wednesday. <laughs> the Florida Supreme Court has allowed the state's six-week abortion ban to take effect. So now Florida's only remaining method for ending a pregnancy is roller coasters. Rachel Ray would be rolling in her grave. Rachel Ray is very much alive. Where did you come from? I've been here the whole time. I give the... Experts are saying that two different broods of cicadas will hatch this month releasing trillions of cicadas into the U.S. And Biden is just letting them in. House Republicans have in podium. In a new interview, Donald Trump also claimed that President Biden was high on cocaine during the State of the Union, saying he was all jacked up at the beginning. By the end, he was fading fast. Huh, it almost sounds like Donald Trump knows- Saving the world in uniforms? Here's my alley and this film went straight up. But... <laughs> I got an idea. Send the pups to chop vegetables over at the bear. Why is he so upset? He found a bunch of money in the tomato- Kelly and Mark reran an episode from 2023 in which host Kelly Ripa begs to go on Diddy's yacht. <laughs> Even crazier, SNL is airing an episode right now with a guy who was on Diddy's yacht last week. <laughs> I'm learning a lot. A man diagnosed with schizophrenia has been given a support dog that can help him determine what is real and what is a hallucination. But the craziest part is, there's no dog. <laughs> Their shoes off on planes. <laughs> Primate expert Jane Giddall celebrated her 90th birthday by gathering together with 90 dogs then feeding them all to her apes. <laughs> thing that you liked. Not liked, loved. I laughed, I cried, I started again the minute it was finished. Oh my God, what was that? Paw Patrol. <laughs> Dogs. Scientists in Portugal have accidentally created a mouse embryo that has an extra leg where its genitals should be. And brother, same. <laughs> Ended, they felt an earthquake. <laughs> Just admit it, you thought it was wind. <laughs> this earthquake was actually the best possible disaster. It was kind of like the time I saw my dad in the shower. <laughs> it was a little scary. There was no permanent damage, but I'm gonna remember it for the rest of my life. <laughs> in a lawsuit against Ye, a former employee claims that Ye compared himself to Hitler minus the gas chambers. And I, for one, am shocked to hear that Ye believes in the Holocaust. <laughs> this week, Live Iran contained a red cosmetic that experts say was likely used as lipstick nearly 4,000 years ago by an ancient skank. <laughs> Isn't that fascinating, Colin? <laughs> 14.2 million views. It was also reported Friday that the U.S. economy added over 300,000 jobs. Unfortunately, most of them are bridge fixer. <laughs> Bear, one big fat what the fudge and 15 what's going on? 
All right, nice. Linda, before you leave, there's got to be one thing. It was reported that the man who married a conjoined twin is facing a paternity lawsuit from his ex-wife. Great. The last thing that guy needs is another mouth to feed. <laughs> Weather experts are forecasting that this year will see the highest number of hurricanes ever thanks to an abnormally active summer of gay weddings. <laughs> A stone vial discovered in a... Just recently heard that Saudi Arabia and Russia will be good. <laughs> Donald Trump said at a rally that he would make November 5th Christian Visibility Day. Wait up. I... <laughs> Just today, Donald Trump posted on Truth Social that he wasn't scared of going to jail for violating a gag order, saying... I will gladly become a modern-day Nelson Mandela. <laughs> a campaign rally, former President Trump said he would debate President Biden anytime, any place, and then he pointed to an empty podium on the stage. And now Trump and Biden are both polling 80 points behind the podium. Against Hunter Biden alleges that he evaded paying over a million dollars of taxes between 2016 and 2020. And they're only catching him now? <laughs> Man, this is super embarrassing for whoever was president from 2016 to 2020. <laughs> Mitch McConnell seen here catching up on news from the Middle East. <laughs> announced that he will... <laughs> Announced that he will step down as the Republican leader in the Senate. McConnell has been leader for almost 20 years, but he first got involved in politics back in 1968 when he lost a fiddle contest to the devil. <laughs> the indictment claims that instead of paying taxes, Hunter Biden spent his money on drugs and escorts. But honestly, it would have been more surprising if he remembered to do his taxes during that time. <laughs> no one finishes doing cocaine with a hooker and is like, could I get a receipt? <laughs> Donald Trump said that at the debates he wants both of them to stand instead of sit. So that's the status of our presidency. <laughs> Standing is a feat of strength. I think we can learn a lot more watching them both try to get out of a beanbag chair. Mitch McConnell, seen here watching the bank foreclose on a single mother. <laughs> says that he has completely recovered after two incidents where he appeared to freeze up and become unresponsive. But suspiciously, he <laughs> but suspiciously, he made the comments while being held up by two guys in beachwear. Many are saying he is leaving because of his bad relationship with Donald Trump. But come on, just because you hate somebody doesn't mean you can't still have a very successful working relationship with them. <laughs> I almost feel like that was about me. <laughs> Former President Donald Trump, seen here definitely not sleeping. He's probably just praying. <laughs> Former President Trump, for the first time in his trial, wrote a message on a yellow post-it note and handed it to his lawyer while he was making an argument. The post-it read simply, can't pay you. Speak for yourself. <laughs> if convicted... <laughs> If convicted, Hunter Biden could be sentenced to up to 17 years in prison, which would be the first time any Biden has successfully completed a sentence. <laughs> Mitch McConnell, seen here walking out of a theater after watching 12 Years a Slave. <laughs> Announced he will step down in November. He'll be replaced by the current number two Republican in the Senate, a frozen embryo holding an assault rifle. <laughs> Mitch McConnell, seen here after rearranging a blind woman's furniture. <laughs> Mitch McConnell officially endorsed Donald Trump for president because despite their differences, they actually go way back. <laughs> Donald Trump endorsed. Mark Robinson for North Carolina governor calling Robinson Martin Luther King on steroids. <laughs> Not to be confused with Martin Luther King on Ozempic. <laughs> Alright, you go again, uh, Colin. I don't Mitch McConnell seen here bringing peanuts into a preschool cafeteria. <laughs> Said 
right. He will tell Republican senators to vote against additional aid for Ukraine and Israel until there are meaningful changes to the border. But the way it came out was brains. <laughs> Of the Nashville shooting, President Biden once again called on Congress to pass an assault weapons ban or, hear me out, stop and frisk for whites. <laughs> How long before these kids earn a stereotype? <laughs> <laughs> Boeing announced that the head of their troubled 737 MAX program is leaving the company after he was sucked out of an emergency exit. <laughs> Next Thursday is Leap Day, which means we gotta wait till Friday for it to finally be over. <laughs> Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema, who looks like all the Flintstones at once, <laughs> announced that she is retiring from the. Have washed up on the shore of a California beach. Not only that, one kid says he even found one in his mother's nightstand. <laughs> a man in Kansas was arrested after he was caught having sex with the tailpipe of a car. The sex was described as exhausting. <laughs> a new study shows that Beaumont, Texas is the least educated city in the country. Oh man, wait until they don't read about this. <laughs> In the latest episode of Gwyneth Paltrow's new Netflix show, Sex, Love, and Goop, a sexologist explained how people can experience full-body orgasms while fully clothed without touching, which is also what happens when your mom watches Bridgerton. <laughs> Insiders are also saying that during meetings, President Biden repeatedly uses the F word in conversations. More concerning, the F word he keeps using is forget. A man in Oregon who had collapsed in his house was saved after his local Domino's Pizza will include John Travolta and Lupita Nyong'o, or as Travolta calls her, the wickedly talented <laughs> Lucretia Bonobos. Health officials in Washington, D.C. confirmed that a fox that bit a congressman near the Capitol had rabies. Officials suspect the fox contracted rabies when it was bitten by Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> Governors in several states, including New Hampshire, Ohio, and Utah, have banned the sale of Russian-made vodka. No word yet on brides. <laughs> I think, honestly, I think a real punishment would be to make Will Smith host next year's Oscars. <laughs> because trust me, nothing will make you question your choices in life more than hosting an award show. <laughs> An alligator in Florida was photographed swimming with a football in its mouth. Turning now to sports news, Tom Brady is missing. <laughs> Tuesday, <laughs> Tuesday was International Women's Day, so hopefully you remember to smile. <laughs> Germany is now joining the EU to send arms to Ukraine, which is the first time Germany has ramped up military production since that little six-year gap in their history books. Justice Jackson was honored Friday at a White House ceremony and said, we have come a long way toward perfecting our union, which is a direct quote from Ben Affleck's proposal to J-Lo. <laughs> It was reported that Queen Elizabeth II has permanently moved... Senator Mitch McConnell, seen here being told a black woman made a country album... <laughs> has, <laughs> ...has come out in favor of a bill that would potentially ban TikTok in the U.S. Of course, for McConnell, TikTok is just what the Grim Reaper says while tapping his watch. <laughs> A social media influencer was arrested for allegedly throwing a tampon at bouncers who were removing her from a club. Well, at least we know why she was acting that way. <laughs> Should I just go home? I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> Senator Mitch McConnell, seen here watching someone get injured at the Special Olympics. <laughs> Sen 
said that he is not concerned with threats Donald Trump makes at his rallies to remove him as Senate Minority Leader. In fact, McConnell says the threats make him laugh harder than his favorite comedy show, Dahmer. You are a stupid man. <laughs> 72-year-old Jerry Turner from The Golden Bachelor announced that he and his 70-year-old wife are divorcing after three months of marriage. But like they say, there's still plenty of fish in the sea, Materi. <laughs> said to marry his 67-year-old girlfriend, the couple is registered at Campbell's funeral home. <laughs> On his website, truthsocial. I'm going to guess scam. <laughs> Donald Trump denied reports that he was so depressed after the 2020 election that he stopped eating, saying, quote, it was not that I was not eating, it was that I was eating too much. <laughs> wow, good save. <laughs> That's like when a rumor went around middle school that I had peed my pants, and I was like, joke's on you, because I actually pooped him. <laughs> In a lawsuit against Ye, a former employee claims that Ye compared himself to Hitler minus the gas chambers. And I, for one, am shocked to hear that Ye believes in the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> a new study claims Fremont, California is the happiest city in America, while the saddest city in America is once again Puppy Grave, Indiana. <laughs> Which, incidentally, is the favorite vacation spot of Mitch McConnell. <laughs> Jim Jordan, seen here describing how he attacks the nipple, <laughs> is no longer the nominee for House Speaker after Republicans dropped him Friday, which, by the way, he's used to because he was dropped a lot as a child. <laughs> Potential new candidates for Speaker include Tom Emmer, Kevin Hearn, Jack Bergman, and six more candidates who are clearly George Santos. <laughs> the Senate. But I doubt any of us will ever forget the name of Senator Crystal Salmonella. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gave, gave a moving speech on the Senate floor announcing his retirement, which honestly made me start to admire Mitch McConnell. Seen here watching a single mother sell her blood for diaper money. Yesterday, Mike Johnson, whose position as House Speaker is in jeopardy, traveled to Mar-a-Lago for a meeting with Donald Trump. And boy, is his jaw tired. <laughs> Nikki Haley has launched a series of campaign ads targeting both Donald Trump and Joe Biden called Grumpy Old Men. Okay, but at least they're men. <laughs> it was reported that President Biden's campaign ended its January fundraising with $56 million in the bank. Now, if he can only remember his ATM code. <laughs> While boarding Air Force One this week, Biden narrowly avoided tripping and falling on the stairs again and instead did a forward roll before inviting everyone inside the chocolate factory. It was reported that 92-year-old Rupert Murdoch is set to marry his 67-year-old girlfriend. The couple asked in lieu of wedding gifts, send lube. <laughs> oh. Oh, good, another one. Oh, another one. It was reported that 92-year-old Rupert Murdoch is kicked out of the Academy, including Bill Cosby, Roman Polanski, and Harvey Weinstein. Or, as they're also known, bad boys for life. Obama returned to the White House for the first time in five years, and jokingly, he jokingly referred to Joe Biden as vice president. Hey, Barack, don't confuse him. <laughs> Fans of the hit HBO show Euphoria have been harshly criticizing the series creator for sexualizing the high school characters. Plus, it's just not accurate. I mean, take it from me, no one has sex in high school. <laughs> I also really love that the reason they let Will Smith stay in the audience was that they asked Chris Rock and he said it was okay. So now we just ask the victim right after they get hit in the head? Hey, you cool if the guy who just attacked you hangs around for a while? You don't want to make him mad again. <laughs> the new HBO show Gilded Age is being praised for highlighting wealthy black families that lived in New York in the late 1800s until they were driven out by wealthy industrialist Colin Jost I. <laughs> I 
I think we should just acknowledge that that was one of the craziest things we will ever see in our lives. It's truly like the Super Bowl wardrobe malfunction, but if Janet's nipple slapped Timberlake. <laughs> Producers for this year's Oscars announced that presenter. <laughs> See my Terry Collin. That's Terry. Yeah, really good. <laughs> and you have to think that everybody in the government is a secret pedophile except for this guy dancing with Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> I mean, isn't that the happiest you've ever seen, Trump? He's dancing like nobody's checking IDs. Police say a man in Nebraska snuck into a home and slept with a sex doll belonging to a man who recently died. Wow, she moved on fast. <laughs> All right. <laughs> a martial artist in Australia punched a seven foot tall kangaroo that was trying to drown his dog. Uh, Australia, where life is a mad lib. <laughs> Just today, Donald Trump posted on Truth Social that he wasn't scared of going to jail for violating a gag order, saying, Thousands of what are being called penis fish. Women versus Michael Che. Many of the members of Congress attending the State of the Union wore blue and yellow to show their support for Ukraine, while Kamala Harris wore all brown to do what she's done for the last year, disappear into the background. <laughs> After McDonald's announced it would stop doing business in their country, Russians have begun hoarding their sandwiches, including some honorary Russians. Serena Williams criticized the New York Times after it mistakenly printed a picture of her sister, Venus Williams, and labeled it as Serena. Worse, the Times then sent an apology letter to Wendy Williams. Intelligence officials are saying that Vladimir Putin is being misinformed by his advisors about how badly the Russian military is performing in Ukraine, which is kind of like Will Smith's agent telling him, you crushed it at the Oscars. <laughs> Yesterday, Will Smith resigned from the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences. He wasn't going to, but then Jada gave him that look. <laughs> After the U.S. ban on Russian oil, gas prices hit a record high of $4.30 a gallon, which is so expensive that America, we might have to move back in with our ex. <laughs> Come on, Iraq. You know we never stop loving you, baby. <laughs> if Will Smith had been expelled, he would have joined a small group of people. Do you have hell you? Không có gì hết. <laughs> oh yeah. No. Uh -huh. <cười> Ôi. Bây giờ mấy con này là chuyện nhỏ. Đâu đâu thử lại giáp nè. Đó. Đâu đâu chia ba lại giáp nè. Đó. chút qua giết cái con gông kinh kinh vẫn tám con này phờ để để làm nhiệm vụ cái đi rồi hả đâu vậy ừ trong bên đây nè Đâu Đi bây giờ mấy con này đánh mình không sao hết trơn nè Còn bốn con nữa
xong tiễn em để để dụ nó để dụ nó đó rồi xuống đánh một lượt cho coi nay đuổi bắt đuổi bắt ui hai con nó vắng nó lăn tròn 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 luôn gì vậy lúc ép hai mau ủa mình nhìn cái miệng đó anh chị nào còn một em nữa mới đuổi chỉ tiêu nha em này solo luôn nè đó 